Today I'm going to show you how to install a vinyl hood wrap. I'm going to start off by showing you the tools you'll need for the install. Uh, you're going to need a spray bottle, 75% full of water, 25% full of rubbing alcohol. This is to clean the surface before applying the vinyl. You're going to need a pair of household scissors, a soft terry cloth for cleaning, and a hard card, preferably with a felt edge so you don't scratch the vinyl. And your vinyl. You're going to want to pop your hood on your vehicle and prop it up. I'll show you later in the video how we wrap the edges. It helps you be able to get your hands um, underneath for wrapping. Um, first thing we're going to do is clean the hood. Uh, it's a good idea to run your car through the car wash um, before you do this. Uh, get the bulk of the dirt and dust off. Look, give it a good look as you're doing it as well. Um, see if there's anything you missed. Go over everything twice. It's a good idea. I like to clean in a circle. Uh, you miss less that way, and it does a better job of cleaning. Uh, you want to take your rag, you're going to be wrapping this edge, and you want to pinch the edge of the hood and clean along the edge and underneath. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, um, now that we've cleaned this, um, is we're going to peel the backing off of the vinyl. Um, you'll need a friend or family member to help you do this. You'll want to separate the backing from the vinyl, and then go ahead and pull the white backing off. Make sure you don't let the vinyl stick to itself. Um, if you do, uh, that will ruin the piece of vinyl. Kind of go from one side to the other just a little bit there at the end. careful not to let the vinyl stick to itself. There you go. That's it. Go ahead and have your help grab the bottom corner. Keep, keep it tight. Go ahead and lift up there. Okay. Keep it tight for me to you. Okay. Great right here. Okay, make sure you're covering. Go ahead and come my way. And go ahead and set it. Okay. Um, Alright, thanks buddy. Um, this stuff can lift right back up off. So if it's off position just a little bit, um, that's okay. You want to make sure you have full coverage before you get started. Okay. Looks like we did a great job here laying that. Um, you want to work from the center out. Um, the first thing I like to do is make sure that I'm covering. Um, 
and I'm going to stretch, do what's called stretching the four corners. Um, first thing I want to do is go ahead and tack that a little bit in the middle there. Then I'm going to grab this corner. I'm going to pull. You can stretch this pretty hard, and you do want to do that. Uh, it helps, helps you get around the corners and curves. Um, pop this up and stretch to that corner. Stretch to that corner, and then pull till you see the wrinkles go out and stretch to that corner. You can keep popping it back up as much as you need to each time to help lay it. I'm going to start in the middle here. I like to do uh, strokes like this rather than, than full strokes. You really want to stretch. When you get a curve like this, this is a good vehicle to show you on. It's actually a, a very difficult hood. It's got a lot of curves. But you really want to stretch. That's how you get around these curves with this material. Um, as I'm laying it there, you can see that it looks really good on the nose. If you happen to lay it and it wrinkles over like that, you just pop it back up and lay it back down until you've stretched it enough to get past the curve. If you've brought a pass down through the middle. Don't start laying this because then you're left here. Okay? The next thing you want to do, um, if you can remember everything's from the center out, that equally disperses the slack. So you don't twist or torque the material. <clears throat> Pop this back up. Okay. I'm going to start from the center. Now I've quartered the hood. At this time you want to leave the excess on and give you something to pull on, don't trim it. Okay, okay now I'm going to work the top half in the flat spot first. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors here, uh, my hood line's here, I'm just going to get rid of some of this that's up here on the windshield, it'll make it a little easier to um, work. Make sure I know where my hood line is, so I don't cut my material short. Go ahead and make a pass to the corner here. I'm going to overlap my pattern as I'm doing this. Make sure that I'm never coming all the way down or moving over the full width of the card. Um, you just want to do little jabs like this and work your way down. Um, if you do, if you get a little bubble like that. Um, you can always pop the material up if it if it's big. Um, I'll show you how to get rid of those in just a second. A lot of times you can see that one. I just rolled over it with the card and it went away. You can pop the material up to get rid of it, um, or you can poke it with a pin. I would recommend trying to do the install um, after the vehicle's been off um, for at least an hour 
so the hood isn't real hot, real warm. Um, preferably temperature between 60 and 80 degrees. Um, any hotter, um, you really have a hard time fighting material um, in a garage if you have one preferably. And uh, the less dust, the better. Maybe not a windy day outside. As you're carving this out, you can see a couple little, they look like scuffs, that's just from my hand. Those actually wipe off when you're done. surface of this hood. See, I feel a little bit of a bubble there. Just pop this ridge. Um, on a really curved car. Um, but I tend to get down to the, the last section. Yeah, you may run into that a little bit, but nice thing about the rhino is it's really easy to pop back up, um, stretch it. You want to use a high quality vinyl. There's some really cheap thin vinyls out there. They tear really easy and um, they scratch really easy. Uh, they don't stretch much either. So on a curve, we've picked a very difficult vehicle here. You'll see in a second with these curves. A cheap vinyl, would tear, you wouldn't be able to do this install with a cheap vinyl. You want a thick, high quality vehicle wrap specific vinyl. Um, this one has a curve this way, a curve this way, a lot of curves. So we've got this laid. Um, looks nice. Um, now we're going to get to the hard part and we're going to start wrapping the curve. I like to do everything from the center out. So I'm going to go ahead and start here with the center. Okay, there's my center edge. Okay. I'm going to come over to this center of this corner. Big stretch. Um, when you have a, a big curve, geometrically, one foot by one foot fits on a flat square foot surface. You get a curve, it, it distorts the, the area, the surface area, and the stretch is how you're going to accommodate for that. This is where a good vinyl, high quality vinyl, 
comes in real handy. If you were to pull on a thin, cheap vinyl, um, usually your more inexpensive vinyls, it would just it would tear, and then you would you'd be done. You don't want to work all the way down to the edge um, all the time. You can kind of get a feel. Um, I went ahead there because that was the center. From here, I, I want to work about halfway down all the way over and then come back here. If I go all the way down, it's going to create um, some slack there. So I'm going to stretch this and start working my way down all the way across. Um, you can see here, like if I was to lay that, all that extra. If I was just to card over that, it would crease the vinyl. So by stretching it, it's smooth. Uh, the nice thing about a high quality vehicle wrap vinyl is the adhesive. Um, it's very sticky and tacky and it allows you to pop it back up several times and stick it back down without damaging it. If you're in a cold environment, you choose to do this in the garage with no heat in the winter, it's 50, 60 degrees, it'll still work fine. You may just warm this up with the heat gun a little. And don't overheat it, just 5, 10 seconds. This is where the felt edge comes in handy. I'm pushing extremely hard with this tool. <clears throat> uh, if you didn't have the felt edge on the hard cart, you would scratch and damage your, your vinyl pretty bad. Uh, it's going to make your vehicle look uh, pretty cool, pretty nice. You won't end up with a bunch of scratches when you're done. Okay, you can see we've got that down the curve and the edge with no seams, no creases. I'm going to go ahead and do this side. If you get a little, little tiny cream fill like that, if you happen to get one of those, lift it up, stretch it, and push on it hard, and it will go away. When doing a curve, um, I'll give you a helpful hint here. If the vinyl sticks out ahead of you where you haven't laid the vinyl yet, you always want to pop it back up to the point that you were at. If it sticks ahead of you and you roll it, you're going to create a big bubble. You can always lift it back up and start over. But just keep 
keep that lifted to the head of you. Okay, we're all laid down. That looks pretty cool. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is trim. You want to trim about a half an inch. Um, if you go a quarter of an inch, that's fine. If you go up to an inch, that's fine. Anywhere between a quarter and an inch <coughs> will be good to wrap your edge. You can see the hood line here. Um, so what you want to do is grab your scissors here. Cut up. Stop shy about a half an inch, I'd recommend. And maybe even a little bit less. This edge won't be revealed. It will be under the hood. Um, obviously cut as straight as you can, but... Careful not to run the scissors into your car underneath. Scratch your paint, another good reason to pop the lid. Okay, looks nice now we rough cut the, the vinyl. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is wrap the edges. Um, for this you just, um, just kind of take your hands here and you just stretch it and then wrap it up underneath this way. As you're doing it, you want to pull on that to get a flush edge. If you just wrap it, you may get a ripple or a bubble. Just go ahead and stretch it. Wrap that underneath like that. Um, when you get to a corner like this, and I'll show you a little trick here. What I do, don't snip all the way to the hood line. Um, go ahead and snip in just shy of the hood line. Okay? When you get to a, that's a corner in like that, a protruding corner. What you want to do here um, is actually make a little snip in like 
this. You just cut a little triangle out of that. Snip in there. Snip in there. And release. I can need another little one here. Again, don't go all the way to the edge. If you do, when you wrap it, you'll see the color of the paint there where it's separated. Just take a little relief out of that. Okay. Go ahead and continue to finish wrapping that around the edge there. Work your way around. This part's pretty easy. Takes a little time. Here's where that snip comes in handy so you don't get a big wrinkle there on the corner. Sometimes I'll just, when it gets a big flat run, I'll just roll my thumbs in there like that. Uh, when you get a pinch here on the hood line, we'll go ahead and grab this hard card again. What you can do is just use that to, to tuck that in there. It's kind of hard to get your thumbs in there. You don't want to have to remove the hood. Um, you can use that to get that back in, just like that. Then you go ahead and wrap the back edge. Back edge is always really easy. It's usually long and flat like that. I notice I gave it a release there earlier in the video. I'm going to help here with this. Go ahead and tuck this in. Um, that side I have a little less material, so it kind of went right in. This side I have a little extra, which isn't a problem, but a little more material to tuck on this back edge, which is, which is great. And now you have a nice new black vinyl wrap hood. Uh, you can repeat this same process uh, for a roof if you want a black roof. Uh, basically the same thing. Thank you. Uh, like our uh, video on uh, YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.